So with all the local coffee spots closed as of recently, I've been having to get a little creative, going outside the box, ordering some coffee online. Some of it, not so good. This, I'm very happily surprised. This is some Ethiopia in espresso form, super good. So first things first, I wanna thank all of you guys for your enormous amount of support on the last couple of videos I've posted. They've all been sitting at my desk, this sort of format and just discussing things with you guys, but they've done really well. You guys have shown a ton of support and I really appreciate that. I haven't posted an actual flying video since March 26th. And that's sort of along the lines of what I wanna discuss in this video. So since this whole COVID-19 outbreak pandemic thing has gotten pretty serious, there's been a lot of discussion in the paramotor world about if we should be flying or if we shouldn't be flying right now. And it seems like it's kind of divided the community in half. Some people feel very strongly we should not be flying whatsoever. Others feel, what's the harm? Let's keep flying. So that's exactly what I wanna discuss in this video. Should we be flying right now? And I don't wanna give you guys my opinion or make you feel bad if you believe anything different than what I believe. All I wanna do is I wanna offer some of the reasons why we shouldn't be flying, some of the reasons why we should be flying, some of the reasons that there might be a middle ground. Maybe we can make some changes to find a good balance somewhere in the middle. I wanna do this very objectively, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna have a survey up in the corner, and I want you guys to watch and then cast your vote on what you think we should be doing right now. Also, feel free to start a discussion down in the comments. I just really wanna see what you guys think about this whole situation and let you guys weigh in on it. Before we get into this, I'm gonna give you guys one last reminder. Today, the 13th of April, is the very last day that if you place an order on tuckergot.com down in the description, you get one of these sweet stickers for free. We're sending these out, they've been flying out of the printer, and I hope people start putting these on their trucks, on their paramotors, on their helmets, somewhere, to get the message out to stop reporting me to the FAA. Aside from the stickers, until midnight tonight, you also have an opportunity to potentially receive a GoPro 7 Silver in your order. We've got two of them going out to two lucky orders. Check that out, check out all the new designs. We're stocked, we got a bunch of different sizes, so check that out, link is in the description. So let's get into it. First off, I wanna say right now, in the United States and also in New Jersey, there is no particular legal reason why we should not be flying. The FAA, which is the regulatory body for paramotors and everything in the air, has not put out any statement, as far as I know, that says we should not be flying. In addition to that, the local shelter-in-place orders do allow for outdoor recreational activities as long as they're not congregations of people. So legally speaking, I don't think there's any argument against flying right now, but let's look at some of the reasons why people believe we shouldn't be flying right now. First off, I think the overwhelming, the main reason why people think we should stay on the ground right now is because flying a paramotor is an unnecessary risk. We don't have to fly, and it is something that involves more risk than just sitting at home in the couch. The fear is that if we're out flying our paramotors and we get injured, whether it be a prop strike on the ground, a crash landing, twisted ankle, anything, we're gonna end up in the hospital and that's gonna put more strain on the medical system, which is right now dealing with all the COVID-19 patients. In addition to that, if something were to happen, uh, people are worried about the bad press that would come from one of us having an accident right now in this somewhat sensitive time. Aside from that, even if nothing did go wrong, if we just went out and flew and had a good old time, didn't get injured, had a nice flight. Another reason people are saying we shouldn't be flying is because there could be complaints from local residents that are at home sheltering in place and see a paramotor go by and they might think, hey, that's unnecessary risk. They might go to the township, they might call the police, they could do whatever. It is a sensitive time and people are reacting in different ways and some people might see a paramotor and freak out and say, how could he be doing that right now? We're supposed to be at home. One, that's not good for local flying sites if people start complaining about paramotors during this time. Two, if it receives any publicity, that's not good for the community as a whole. Another reason why we potentially shouldn't be flying right now is because, at least in New Jersey, a lot of parks have been shut down and we often use parks for taking off and landing. And obviously, if a park is shut down completely, that would restrict us from using that site whatsoever. I'm sure there's a lot more other smaller reasons why 
people think we shouldn't be flying right now, but I think those are the major ones. Now onto the reasons why we should be flying. I think the main counter argument is that flying a paramotor doesn't present that much risk. It's not gonna put the healthcare system over the edge whatsoever. I think a lot of people know that paramotoring is a relatively safe sport. And if you think about the amount of people in a given year that end up in the hospital because of paramotoring, I think it's a pretty small number. And people for flying right now would say, if we stop flying, it's not like we're really changing that much. People rarely get hurt. It's not actually gonna have that much of an impact positive impact if we were to stop flying. Another argument along those lines is that other recreational activities that could be deemed risky, like bicycle riding, horseback riding, hiking, climbing, motorcycles, no one's really looking at those and saying that we shouldn't be doing any of that right now. In fact, I've seen plenty of bicyclists ride by on the road today. It's a nice day. People are out getting their activity in. Certain group activities, however, like soccer, basketball, disc golf, they've been kind of shut down at local parks. They've taken down the basketball hoops and things like that, taped off soccer goals to get people to not do that sort of thing. And I've also heard of stories of police breaking up gatherings like that. And the reason those things are getting kind of restricted or banned is because they're gatherings of people. Not that they're risky, but it's that people shouldn't be together in large groups. And sort of the argument for paramotoring right now is that it's the ultimate social distancing. We're not just six feet away from people, but we're thousands of feet up in the air, can't spread or risk getting the COVID-19 virus while you're flying a paramotor. Overall, I don't think that really holds too much weight. Like, yes, it is social distancing to an extreme, but at the same time, sitting at home is pretty much the equivalent. Now, one thing I haven't really seen many people discuss, but I wanted to bring up in this video is the idea of establishing a middle ground, basically dialing back our flying to about 50%. This is something that we did with the Paradigm team for any air show we ever performed, and we dialed it back to about 60%. We said that we're only gonna go up and fly to 60% of our ability in 60% of what weather conditions we feel comfortable flying in. Because we have a lot of eyes on us in those air shows, we want to dial things back to make sure that they go smoothly. That's sort of the idea that I would think we could do in this situation. Dial back our flying all the way to 50%. Only fly when the weather's really good. There's no strong winds, there's no turbulence, there's no sign of thunderstorms in the vicinity, things like that. I would say we don't take as many risks while flying. Don't try out any new maneuvers. Don't fly over water. Always have a landing option just in case you have a motor out. Just be extra responsible when you're flying. Another thing to do would be avoid lingering in any areas like your launch and landing site and avoid flying near towns or anywhere that there's a ton of people sheltering in place. That would kind of help prevent anyone calling into townships, calling the police. In the case of finding a middle ground, I would say people should definitely change up their launch sites, don't use the same spot, don't use a public park, maybe only stick to airports or private launch sites. And lastly, I would kind of say that this middle ground idea is somewhat location dependent. If you're near a hot spot where there's a lot of people that are sick, hospitals really are at maximum or above maximum capacity, maybe don't fly at all, maybe fly at 10%. But if you're out in the middle of the country and your area is not impacted by this pandemic right now, maybe fly at 80%. Who knows? I think it's just all location dependent because obviously some areas are getting hit harder than others. So that's pretty much everything I got to say on this topic for reasons to not fly, reasons to keep flying, and reasons why maybe a middle ground would be a good solution. So I'm gonna put a survey right up here on the card in the corner. It'll have those three options, and I'm just curious to see what you guys think. I also encourage you to leave a comment down below, have a conversation. We'll see what comments get upvoted most to the top. At the end of the day, I think this really is kind of a tricky situation. The sport as it is right now is at a position it's never been in the past. And obviously we've never really seen an outbreak as crazy as we're having right now. So it's kind of uncharted territory. I don't think anyone should be hating on other people for the personal risk assessment decisions they're making which unfortunately I've seen a lot of, but I can kind of understand each side of the argument. And if someone has a different opinion than myself, I feel like I have no reason to hate on them because I can kind of understand all the different sides. With that, 
Be sure you check out all the t-shirt designs, the new ones down in the description for your chance to get a GoPro and guaranteed free sticker by midnight tonight on the 13th. Appreciate all your guys' support on the most recent Risky Biscuits Co. release. Hopefully with this whole pandemic situation, hopefully we're gonna start hitting the peak pretty soon and we'll start seeing numbers come back down and then the decision will be a little bit more obvious and uh, things will go back to normal pretty soon. Um, with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I think I'm gonna be building a paramotor helmet and showing you guys how to do it and the steps I take to fabricate my own helmet. So I'll see you guys in that one. Till then, peace.